Join us for one of the best buffets in Metro Manila, Tong Yang Plus. Today, we check out one of their newest branches at Ayala Mall's Manila Bay. Take note, they offer free corkage so you can bring all the alcoholic beverages you want. And if you're celebrating your birthday on the exact same day, it's buy one, take one. Tong Yang Plus was first opened on December 2017 at SM Mall of Asia and aims to be the ultimate grill and hot pot buffet chain in the Philippines. It is one of the newest buffet concepts of Pacific Apex Incorporated, who are highly regarded for pioneering the mid-tier buffet restaurant boom in Manila with their successful buffet concepts Vikings, Tong Yang Hot Pot, Four Seasons, and The Alley. Tong Yang Plus is an evolution of the Tong Yang Hot Pot brand, which we have previously featured. The difference being Tong Yang Plus occupies a larger venue with a wider buffet spread. We would highly recommend focusing on their US beef for grilling or hot pot, which includes cuts of karubi, chakai roll, and beef striploid, as well as a super thin cut pork gel. They have a decent selection of vegetables for their hot pot, including kailan, pet chai, choisum, and polon chai, and nine soup choices. For refreshments, they offer Tsingtao beer, assorted flavored and infused waters, soft drinks, and coffee.
Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we are at Tong Yang Plus here at Ayala Mall's Manila Bay. This is a Spanish themed Costa del Sol Tong Yang Plus and one of the newest Tong Yang Plus uh, buffets here in Metro Manila. So what are they known for? They're known for their hot pot and barbecue. Smokeless barbecue. So I'm gonna start off with my uh, hot pot. I already have some Spring onions, garlic, onions, satay, and a lot of cilantro in a spicy mala broth. That's the one I chose. So I'm gonna dump all of this in. I like it spicy and super flavorful with a lot of herbs. That's how I do my shabu shabu. I even have an extra batch here, but I'll see how this is. And then aside from that, I am so impressed with their vegetable selection over here. What did I get? I got spinach, watercress, which is a very high-end vegetable, very expensive. Uh, a little bit of Taiwan pet chai, uh, corn, black mussels, shimeji mushrooms, and enoki mushrooms, black fungus, and this, as soon as uh, this is ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna start adding this in. Adding some mushrooms first. I'm so impressed they have these shimeji mushrooms. These are quite expensive. See the options are quite extensive for the vegetables. Very happy with it. So yeah, corn has to go in first. Some of my black mussels. So these are imported uh, New Zealand black mussels. What's good about these black mussels? They don't really have a beard on them, so nothing to clean. Okay, that looks kind of full. Save this for later. And I'm kind of hungry already. I didn't have breakfast today. And look what I have over here. Whole plate of shrimps, baby. It's time to get this shabu shabu started. And add three on top. Once those are ready, I'm gonna start eating that. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Now we can get started on our grill. So I have chuck eye roll. This is US chuck eye roll. I'm gonna add it to the grill over here. Oh yes. Come over here. Look how this sizzles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. That's good. good. So they have quite a few uh, hot entrees as well. I might uh, look into that later, but right now I'm focusing on my soup and the barbecue. And of course my shabu shabu sauce, which I have ready made here with shabu shabu sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, peanut sauce, uh, garlic, cilantro. And that's it. And I can't wait to dig in. Oh yeah, baby. Come over here, take a look at these shrimps now. They look dry. Flip it around. So no crab today. You know, some days they do have crab, but that was pre-pandemic. But lately, uh, there has been no crab, but quite a generous serving of shrimps that you can get. So joining us today is Oksana, my brother, great, and of course, Alexandra. So babe, you already got started on your shabu shabu. What you put in there? I put mushrooms, two kinds of mushrooms. I put greens, watercress. Oh yeah, you got a lot of watercress. Yes, nice. and spinach. And I put some salmon belly and pasta. Awesome. Alexandra, you're enjoying your shabu shabu experience so far. You had already some tempura and the cacao. How were those? 
it's okay, it's okay, but I think you don't like the hakao. Yeah, because when I eat the hakao, like, it's luscious. And then so when fresh. I... Yeah, it looks not so fresh. Probably frozen, tempura, I also wouldn't recommend. But look at your shabu shabu. Mix it up. See how it is. And so you got some corn there. And some shrimps and some greens and some flowers. And I think you got a satay soup. Oksana got the satay as well. Uncle Bro got the spicy mala, like me. Yeah. And what you put in there? Just veggies. Mm. If you're a vegetarian today, I see you also have some uh, mm. salmon belly. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. quite a good amount of veggies. All right. Okay, I think this is good to go. Yeah, there we go. Over here. That's what I'm telling you. That's the fun part about Tongyang Plus. You get to cook all your food right in front of you. Okay. Chuck I roll. Yeah, this is gonna be quite a mouthful. I'll dip it in my sauce. First bite. Okay. Mm. That is extremely tender, guys. And juicy. I cook that perfectly. Oh, yeah, baby. I forgot to add some chili into my sauce. I have to go back. Mm. I'm gonna have to get another plate. Of that chuck eye roll. The soup is ready. I'm going to transfer it to my bowl. Yeah, baby. I took the shrimp out earlier. It was already uh, fully cooked. The shrimp cooks quite fast. So we'll take a look at it. It was uh, quite fresh. I was able to deshell it quite quickly. Thanks, Uncle Green. Quite plump, the shrimp. Nice bite to it. Now time for the spicy mala with vegetables and mussels. Oh, that warms you up so fast. Really hits the spot. Oh, that's so good. What a food adventure we're having, guys. Next up, the New Zealand black mussel. Now that's a big ticket item. I like the chewiness. Just really delectable, especially with those shimeji mushrooms. Mala soup round two. Oh yeah. Look at all that garlic, onion, cilantro, satay. Yeah, baby. Okay, I'm gonna add my veggies. Okay. Are you still going? Yeah. What's the next thing you do? Oh, sticky hand. That's the way we do it. Sticky hand? Yeah, same thing as sticky hand. Like, it's like a. So I like my shabu shabu. Very beefy. Oksana is making her specialty pork jowl enoki mushroom rolls. This is the fun part, isn't it, babe? Wow, even double. That is a massive pork enoki roll. Stunning, my love. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we even have some shrimps on the barbie. They are 
having an absolute feast over here. It's been so long since the last time we were at Tong Yang Plus. What did you get? It looks so yummy. I even hesitant to put it in the soup because I want to eat it right here. It's a chicken feet. Oh my so gosh. I'm going to add it to the soup. You might even be more Chinese than me. Yeah. With your chicken feet. <laughs> Cravings. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. So those pork jowl enoki rolls already had one earlier they are so good pork jowl instead of pork belly it's amazing it's it melts in mouth but it also gets crispy because it's higher fat fat content oh my god mm. Gee, my name is, nickname is G. That is truly divine. I almost forgot they have unlimited Tsingtao Chinese beer here as well and I'm getting my second win so we're having more of the pork jowl on the barbie it's so amazing this pork jowl it's even better than bacon. What do you think, babe? Yes. And it gets super crispy. Yeah. Welcome, Andy. You're a little bit late, but I see you came quite hungry. Got eight trays of pork and beef here. Oh, wow. This is gonna be a real Viking feast for and So you have in your soup over there, your shabu shabu. It looks like a lot of the dumplings. They're really flavored up. Did you order laksa? Laksa soup? Yeah, looks good. Okay, it looks like gonna be a meat fast for Andy. Okay guys, I'm on my last round of the pork jowls, bacon, and of course, Tsingtao beer. After this, it's gonna be dessert. Okay, now it's time for dessert. For dessert, they offer ice cream, halo halo, fresh fruits, assorted pastries, candies, and a chocolate tower. Okay, Alexandra, what do you want? Vanilla ice cream. How many scoops? How many scoops? Thank you. You want to add any of this? What's this? Marshmallows and graham powder. You want to add anything? Graham crackers? Okay, go. Put it. Okay, bring it. How's your vanilla ice cream, Alexandra? It's good. It's like a lot of vanilla. 
lot of flavors. And I like the graham crackers. Oh, hold on, I'm just trying to eat. Yes, get it. It's so creamy. It's so cold. It's so refreshing. I love the ice cream here. I recommend you get the ice cream. I think your favorite part is dessert, huh? For dessert, I'm just having one scoop each of ube, salted caramel, and vanilla. I'm going to start off with the ube. I topped it off with some graham cracker powder. Mm. Nice. Some ube chunks in there. Very grainy. Very flavorful. Vanilla. I understand why Alexandra loves it. Very creamy, very strong, potent vanilla flavor. Now, salt caramel. Mm. I think all very nice choices uh, from the ice cream. I, in fact, I like all of them, but I think my favorite is still the ube and the vanilla. Hello, hello. So my dessert for today is Halo Halo. I created that by myself with the help of the chef. So there is shaved ice, ice cream meal, Israeli snata, ube paste. And Mongo beans and I see a lot of uh, langka or jackfruit. Yeah. By the way, yeah. Very good, very good. That's the way I like it. I love langka and mongo bean combination. And pinipig crunch, pinipig. Yes, Happy with what they got. So good, so good. optional. Still looks quite good. Now, looking at yours, it kind of tempts me to get one too. Well guys, I have to say I am super satisfied after that meal. This has to be one of the very best hot pot and barbecue buffets in Metro Manila. Just from the setup they have, their smokeless grills and their individual uh, hot pot stations. And then aside from that, fresh top quality ingredients from their vegetables, the watercress and Taiwan pet chai and spinach and even the mushrooms, shimeji mushrooms and enoki mushrooms. So I really enjoyed that as well as the barbecue setup with their uh, pork jowls and uh, US chokai beef. So I'm quite stuffed at the moment and I really enjoyed every moment of this buffet. Relaxing music, the interiors here, you know, Spanish Costa del Sol style. And uh, aside from that, even the dessert. I had to save space for the dessert. I really enjoyed their ice cream. What did you think, babe? I enjoyed the buffet so much. I feel I ate very good stuff only. I had a lot of vegetables, uh, seafood, and I even created my collagen of this chicken desserts. I like it. it wasn't, uh, <laughs> All right, Alexandra, how about you? It seems like you really demolished a lot of those shrimps here. You've become a real buffet master, I can tell. What yeah. did you like the most here at Tong Yang Plus? I really like the shrimps and the soup. Okay, and then how about dessert? Uh, yeah, I like the ice cream also. Okay, bro, how about you? Uh, what did I like? Yeah. I really like the of the vegetables, like the water shells, and then uh, for meat, the pork was pretty good, very tasty, like bacon, and then the, 
dessert. I like the ube. Uh, ube the most. Drinks the beer. <laughs> yeah. Almost forgot about the complimentary Tsing Tao Unlimited. That's it. We also had quite a good selection of the soup broth. Uh, I really like the spicy mala, but I've tried their satay. And Andy, you're up next. Yeah. You arrived late, but you still managed to finish eight plates of meat here. That was quite impressive. Uh, what did you like and what did you not like? What did I like? Mm. I think the white selection for the hot pot Dumplings. You like the dumplings and hot pot? Wow, I can't yeah. believe you finished all those dumplings. Or some of them, most of them. Yeah. And, and they have scallops. Oh yeah, baby scallops. So you put some of that too. And the laksa soup was very disappointing. Oh, the laksa was... A, I, wouldn't, I haven't tried the laksa here. Okay guys, don't order the laksa. It is like Japanese for you. Which you'd like more? Uh, the beef or the pork for the barbecue? The pork. The pork is the winner. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. Please stay safe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Up next, join us for my birthday dinner at New by Vikings, the lavish buffet concept chain of Pacific Apex Incorporated which also operates the successful buffet chains Vikings, Tongyang Plus, Four Seasons, and The Alley.